Welcome to this in-depth look at the multi-bend tab functionality introduced in NX12. We will start by visualizing the design we wish to achieve as shown here. I will construct a tab feature that will use the yellow face as a reference and the green face as the sketch plane. So let's start the tab command and first expand the multi-bend reference group and select our reference plane, the yellow face. You can see the parent of this is the sketch plane and the inset is material inside. For this simple design, that's all we need. Now we select the green face and sketch. We create the flat pattern outline using the sketch tools. If I hide the surrounding geometry, we can see the selected reference face and the sketch face have been projected onto the sketch plane. And the bend center line and tangent edges are also shown and can be used with sketch constraints if required. Once the sketch is finished, we commit the command and the part is complete. Let's do a design change where we want to extend the bracket onto the top red face as shown in the image. We edit the feature and select the face as the new set in the multi-bend reference group. Now as this design is a simple Z shape, this feature reference needs the previous plane, plane 1, as its parent. We enable the sketch and modify the flat profile for the part using the additional bend and face references that have been added to the sketch plane as a guide. Once the sketching is complete, we can see the direction and inset may need some adjustment to achieve the desired result. Here we can also specify unique parameters for each bend in the feature, so let's go ahead and change the radius of the second bend. Now let's look at a new example. I would like to create another Z-shaped type bracket that follows the profile of the block through the green, yellow and blue faces. I create a new base tab feature and start by using the yellow face as the sketching plane and select the green and blue faces as references. On the blue face I will change the normal direction for the bend. We create the sketch and see what we have. What you see is that a U shape has been created. If I change the direction of the reference, the feature now fails. This brings us to our first limitation of multi-bend tab. If you search the help files for create a multi-bend tab, you will find the statement shown. All reference planes that have a sketch plane as the parent must have the same normal direction. So how do we create this part? Let's restart. This time I will use the green face as the sketch plane, so I will select the yellow face as my first reference and select the blue face as a second reference, with the yellow face as its parent. I'll adjust the inset to avoid interference and now select the green face as the sketch plane. We can now see all the references clearly and can generate the sketch. If I reverse the plane direction of the blue face, we can still create the U-shape if desired. It is important to note, however, that we cannot chain multiple faces together in this way to create a multi-level staircase type design. This is our final limitation. You can only chain reference planes by two levels. Let's explore an additional option we have by adding in some clearance to the blue face. This can be achieved by defining an offset distance for the plane. 
So I trust this has helped in understanding the powerful capability of multi-bend tab for simple, easy to visualize designs.